Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about peripheral or subplural consolidation. So if you see what is peripheral and subplural consolidation, it is also a type of diffuse consolidation and this is actually opposite to back wing pattern of consolidation. So what does that mean? That means if this is the right lung and if this is the left lung, you can see the heart shadow and this is the dome of diaphragm. Sorry, it should not be like this. It's correct opposite. Yeah. Now, now if you see in this peripheral or sub plural consolidation, the consolidation is mainly present adjacent to this chest wall. Here you can see the chest wall. So just adjacent to the chest wall, you will see consolidation present. Here consolidation is present adjacent to the chest wall like this. So here consolidation this is the second one consolidation at peripheries or consolidation adjacent to chest wall at peripheries and you will see that there is pairing of perihilar region. Okay. So, what are the examples of this peripheral or subplural consolidation? This peripheral or subplural consolidation is mainly seen in patients with chronic lung disease. So, it is seen in patients with chronic lung disease. Uh, it is seen in eosinophilic diseases, especially in the eosinophilic spectrum of lung diseases. It is seen in uh, eosinophilic pneumonia. Uh, then it is also seen in certain conditions like uh, uh, sarcoidosis. It is seen. Uh, it is seen in radiation pneumonitis. Because in radiation to any chest wall diseases, there is higher chances of uh, increased radiation falling on the peripheries than the central. So definitely in radiation pneumonitis, there is higher chances of peripheral consolidation rather than central back wing type of consolidation. Then it is seen in lung contusion. Obviously, whenever there is injury to the lung uh, due to trauma, there is increased chances of uh, uh, injury to be present in the peripheries rather than at the center. Then it is also seen in mucinous adenocarcinoma. Okay, so this peripheral or subplural consolidation is mainly seen in conditions like chronic lung disease, eosinophilic lung disease like eosinophilic pneumonia, sarcoidosis, radiation pneumonitis, lung contusion and mucinous adenocarcinoma. So, this is about the peripheral consolidation. So, if you see that picture, so you, this you can see clearly. So, here you can see this peripheral consolidation which is present. So, this is the consolidation which is present that is peripheral consolidation. And you can see the central area which is spared. So, this is peripheral consolidation and central sparing. It is actually seen in conditions like chronic eosinophilic pneumonia. So this is a case of chronic eosinophilic pneumonia where you can see this peripheral consolidation with uh, central uh, um, clearance which is an opposite of bat wing pattern, reverse of bat wing pattern. So even here you can see this peripheral consolidation and central sparing is seen in this patient. Then... This is about the peripheral and subplural consolidation. Thank you.